Uh, there. Anything else? Alright, fine. <laughs> I got your feather. Alright. So, I'm back with more Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah, I've got a few quests. That I need to... Embark on. I guess I should go to Herbology. Herbology, whatever it's... It is. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe... I can't travel there yet, so. A few moments later. Any more pages? No? Okay. Yeah, how's everybody doing? Herbology. I think we should have a moon calf in charge. Never forget what that awful puff girl said in 1421. What lovely stone. Ah, oh, that's class, that is. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. <laughs> hey, cats. Pretty sure I saw a key around here. No? Rebellion. All right, time for class. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello. Hi there. Class. Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. Yeah, sure. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. 
This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in Herbology is knowledge. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the Mandrake Root. <laughs> Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and <laughs> give it a firm tug. <laughs> hmm. Wow. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Hmm. Repair. <laughs> Very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature. All right then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Okay, well. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Mm. Okay, hi. I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Hmm. I'll say I nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal, so remember to keep those ears protected. <laughs> now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. <laughs> Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Okay. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy, or rose. Litany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. All right. Okay. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Okay. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Mm-hmm. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Do you find 
find yourself taking certain ways to Hello. Hi. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Okay. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Yeah, thanks. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. <laughs> Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. You know that, of course. Hmm. So, where am I going? Hey, hi. So, where exactly is the other greenhouse? Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. <sighs> Go on, grab a few of those. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Um. <sighs> hmm. How do I even? I'm sorry. What do I need to do? Garlic said she wanted you to have a go at tending the cabbages. Give them some time to chomp and whatnot. Nothing to it, really. Just toss some of those Chinese chomping cabbages out. <laughs> You'll see fairly quickly why we call them that. What do I need to do? Look at that. They'll chomp them anything they can get there. Mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did mm -hmm. save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Yeah. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? Oh, My yeah. kind of plants. <laughs> Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Hmm. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Mm -hmm. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Okay. Okay. 
Revenia. That helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. All right. Um. Yeah. Fine, I guess I could. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? Mm. I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. Mm. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Okay. Let me see if this... Of those mandrakes already relishing their new parts. Only cost me my... All right. Anything, bro. We must first understand it. That goes for plants. As in the great hall. Hi. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. Mm, I've only read about that in the Harry Potter books, but. Revelio. So. Let's see if I can try. Okay, I guess I... Alright, where's... Ah, get out of here. Get out of here. Let's 
Excuse me. Maybe Aura or someone from the ministry guarding the school leech. after the incident Stern in Hogsmeade. Clockwise. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent. Revelio. Hey. All oh, right, I just okay. I'm here. Revelia. Sorry to snoop in, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Hmm. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. <laughs> Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. So, let's see. Whatever... Use think... a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Okay. So two drop. That's more than two drops. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. <laughs> hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Mm, Professor okay. Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some All right. can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Hmm, okay. Well. Right. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. My Wigan Well potions utter rubbish. Wish I could... My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Professor Sharp said that Wigan Well potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. Uh, boy. All right.
So where can I find these ingredients? Wait, he's in the office, right? Revelia. Fine job brewing your first Wiccan Weld potion. Thanks. There are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Well. Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant. And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. Uh, you remember thanks. me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, uh, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I <laughs> come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. Uh, okay. I simply need a single Fooper Feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Uh, I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. You sure about that? I have enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me yeah, to get. Yeah, get it yourself. I'm afraid I can't help you. <laughs> I understand. I'll sort something else out. Keep your potion organized and Anything else? Alright, fine. <laughs> I got your feather. <laughs> well prepared, which a wizard always has a few potions on her. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. All right. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? <laughs> Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it. Oh, no. What happened? <laughs> well done, Garrett. Ha ha. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. <laughs> I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so... Eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. Yeah, or well, did I? Today. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In no. addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. And you can keep that fwoppa feather. This time. Oh, he knows they have it. Okay. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. All right. I got your feather. That was an interesting class. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. <laughs> well, for certain, you'd have helped. It did sound like fun. I shouldn't have been so concerned with getting in trouble. I think it's good to take risks every now and again, especially when it comes to potions class. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Mm. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. 
Okay, then. Yeah, I don't... Ugh, my robes are going to reek from I don't even know it's that. <laughs> Revelio. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. I just want to get. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Do I still have that? Now, I'm not much. Just wanted to check on something. I want to see what this looks like. <laughs> nice. Shall I go? Okay, yeah. I guess I'll meet with Natty. My parents visited Revelia. I find the price is quite reasonable in Hotspeed. Oh, you would, would you? <laughs>
Ah, uh, cute little rabbit. I just want to keep looking. This looks intriguing. Indeed it does. See here. Hi. It is good to see you, my friend. Mm -hmm. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Hmm, I don't know I've if I can I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm, a bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I <laughs> realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Halo is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Okay. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? Revelia! Okay. Nice. you repeatedly not to stray far from home especially when i'm inside with your little Revelio. sister but you should see the mummy how beautiful these horses with wings oh, that's enough i'm too tired for your stories today you stay right here where i can see you now why don't 
you do some more drawings for me? Hmm? Very well, Mummy. Okay. Beatable quit. What else? All right, well. I should probably save this. Enjoyed this click on the thumbs up icon feel free to subscribe if you're not subscribed already share this video that everybody knows so thank you and good night